Good morning, guys. Uh, I'm sure the birds are going to start chirping like crazy right now, but uh, hopefully they won't be too loud today. Um, we're going to work on some rainy water we place. You can see I've got some more stitching done, um, and uh, hopefully we're going to be uh, uh, making some good progress. I'd love to finish this page this week. Um, we'll see if that is possible, but uh, I've got about 300 stitches done last night, and if I can get another, honestly, if I can get another two or 300 done today, I, I would be pretty close to having this page done so hopefully this video is good for you hope you like it um, if you do let me know uh, feel free to check out my blog at stitchingjewels.com there's a ton of other floss tubers on there cross stitching stores all kinds of resources and uh, just to let you know I do have a store now open on Etsy under stitching jewels designs um, so if you're interested in cross stitch designs, the kind of things that I like to do, especially a lot of monochromatic black and white stuff. Um, feel free to take a look. So thank you for watching and uh, let's have a good morning. Let's have a nice chill good morning. Nice chill good morning. I might check my internet speed here because it feels like I'm a little I'm a little slow today. Um, let me just do a quick speed test while I got all this going see what my upload and download speeds are. Yeah, 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 downloads really flipping fast. Pretty, pretty awesome. Good pings. Uh, excellent pings, to be perfectly honest with you. And uh, as soon as it finishes this test, I'm do the upload test. Upload. Yeah, upload's a little slow today. Upload's a little slow today. We got a lot going on. Hubby's working. And let me just make sure I don't have anything else connected, running, that could slow things down. So let's try this out. Let me, let me turn that off and then see if this is a little bit better. And we'll go from here. And yeah, I think we're, I think we're good here. So let me, oh boy. I'm gonna get some stitching done. I'm so excited. I'm gonna get the first, gonna get the next page, I should say, the second row. And you can see I put the picture of Rainy Waterloo up there finally so that everybody can see it. I really feel like my my frame rate is terrible on my main camera. Um, why is that? Um, no, I can't do performance mode. But just double check and make sure I haven't done anything crazy. Um, hey Val, how you doing? Good morning. Um, I think we're I think we're all right. I think I'm just a little slow on the upload speed. Hey Sheila, what is up? Good morning, guys. Let me know if we have any technical problems with the stream this morning. Um, on my end, it looks slow. It looks the frame rate looks slow to me, and I'm having some slow upload speeds this morning, so it might not be ideal in terms of a visual. I gotta move slowly, cause yeah, it's all it's buffering it weird, and so at least for me, it'll hopefully it'll uh, it'll smooth itself out here in just a little bit. What am I stitching? What am I stitching? Where am I going? I'm going to figure this out. Here we go, two, four. Brilliant. Hope you guys are having a good morning. Hope you're uh, staying safe. And uh, it is particularly smoky in Colorado today, at least in the Denver area. Pattern Keeper doesn't like St. Basil's, Kim. All right. I'll fix it. I'll fix it. Hey, Nicole, how you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Kim, I will fix St. Basil's and send you a new one, okay? Um, put that on my list well, that's a definite thing. Oh. Pen. 
my life for a pen. Of course, I don't have one. Oh, you know what? Let's use a highlighter. Let's not waste this. We'll do, we'll do, we'll fix. We'll do, we'll fix. Good morning, Daph. Hey, Daphne, how you doing? How's everything going? Oh. <sighs> Just checking everybody out here. Let me know how the stream is looking to you guys because it's looking really slowish to me, um, like a low frame rate, which it's, I think it's my upload speed today. It seems slow. It seems very slow. I probably should have talked a little bit more before I started the stream because my voice is a little bit rough too. Ooh, I gotta get my light fixed here too. My light is not on. Me proper. Me proper. There we go. There we go. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry to hear that, Kim. Um, well, you know what, Kim? If it's not working for you, then it's probably not working for other people. So I need to get that fixed and make sure it's all good. So we will get it working and iron out the kinks. I probably, I know I uploaded that before um, Needlebug showed me or told me the exact settings I needed for proper Pattern Keeper import. So I just got to go back and make sure that I do that right. I thought I had done all of them, but I'm sure I didn't do them all. It's all good. Good, good, good. Good, good, good. I am working on Rainy Waterloo in hopes of getting this next page done because I need to get this next page done. That's just the bottom line. See, it's just, it looks all blurry to me. Does that look all blurry to you guys? You can get physical therapy going? That's good. That's good. Trying to figure out where I'm at here. Whew. Ah, gotcha. Yeah, it's I'm pretty sure it's my upload today. I could theoretically restart the stream. Oh. <laughs> if I move fast, it's blurry. Maybe it's just super speed. Super speed. Um, I'll try and go slow. Yeah, I just, I think it's a stream thing. Let me double check my... Well, it says my quality is good, but I don't feel like it is. Good morning, X-Ray. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, weather effects streaming. Well, right now we've got um, all kinds of things going on. Oh, Sheila's head's pretty good. Watching another storm in the Gulf. Can't wait for 2020 to be over. It's already been at least three years long. Yeah, right? It totally has. Um, man, it's crazy. Nicole says you tend to watch cross-stitching videos on YouTube when you're cross-stitching yourself. You took a break and you're catching up. You're on the stolen car episode. Yeah. It's been a heck of a year for me, too. I mean, there's, there's plenty of people. Kim's had a really rough year. 
I've had a fairly rough year. I've been able to recover fairly good, but otherwise not bad. Even practically, oh man, that much work? Gee whiz, dude. Gee whiz, x-ray. Ah, EJ, you never got a notification. Realized what time it was and checked. I don't know why Twitch does. I put out the I put out the um uh whatchamacallit the uh whew. all of a sudden I'm not feeling so hot, but um I put out the notification uh I thought I did, maybe I didn't. Cool. You got one? I don't know why it works for some people and doesn't work for others. I really don't. <laughs> it's uh, it, it's like it's just like YouTube. It decides some days it wants to do it and some days it doesn't. So, um, hey, Ushin, Ush, Ushioni, Sharon from work. Hello, Sharon from work. How are you? Good morning, everybody. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. If it's a little blurry today, I'm blaming my upload. I'm blaming my upload. And uh, work is having a day. Sorry, let me get this fixed a little bit so I can see my stream. So I can see my stream. All right. Oh. Let me get this, let me highlight some things here. I'm just going through and highlighting what I didn't highlight last night. It's going to give a false impression that I've stitched more than I have. I really did a wonderful job of, uh, of uh, what you call it, uh, confetti stitching this whole thing. And when I say wonderful job, I mean I really shouldn't have done it. So, so we're going to kind of play around with this a little bit. And I may eventually switch over to um, uh, raising the flag because I made some good progress with that one. And I might just switch down to using, I may just switch down to the bottom of the pattern. I think I'm going to do that and work on this darker section here. This is my, this is your favorite pattern? That's awesome, dudes. I got to tell you, I love stitching on this pattern. I just, I got out of the habit of it. You know how it is. You're like, you have everything set up and, and you're working pretty well with it and then it just doesn't work. Just doesn't work for you. But boy, do I want to get this done. I say that all the time. But I just, I'm, I'm so shiny object kind of person. I just jump around. I wish I had focus sometimes. Oh, it gets to your elbow. Uh... I gotta wake up. I gotta wake up and get going higher. I don't know what this is. I had this whole big piece here and I don't know what I got. I don't know what I did. But we're gonna get a lot. We're gonna make some serious progress this week, people. Yeah. All right. All right, let's find my 3023. Where's my 3023? 3023, where have you gone? Where have you gone? I thought I was all ready to get started. <laughs> oh boy, guys. I'm so glad you guys. I, 
I'm so glad you guys come and watch me struggle. And I say that, I'm not saying that facetiously. I'm saying that like, because it kind of helps reinforce that I do need to be better organized. And, and I'm always like, I've got to organize better. But then I'm, I never do it. Because I get shiny object distracted. I could have sworn that I put 3023 in this pile here. I swore I saw it. But if I didn't, that's okay. I'll do I'll do 646 and then 3023 will just show up later in the stream. That's crazy. Probably is in my lap or fell on the floor or something. EJ's got a pattern sitting in timeout since last year. You're so frustrated with it. Yeah, I get you. You know, sometimes what I do when I, in the past, when I've done, when I've had frustrating things with a pattern is I'll say, you know what? I'm going to work on it, but I'm only going to work on it for a half an hour. And so half an hour, I just get a little bit done. That way I don't get frustrated, but I get maybe a smidge done. And then it's like just kind of pushing something a little bit, a little bit, and hopefully you can get it jump started at that point. Um, Guys, I gotta be able to see my stream here. I gotta be able to see you guys. And then, there we go. That's better. Whew. Oh man, Marina, I'm sorry to hear that. Good to see you, but sorry to hear that you're having a hard time. Um, Sharon says she's crafting ADHD. Switch between so many projects. Exactly. Rushionis have uh you you have a crochet project you're working on. Nice. Kim, you're gonna be a lefty now when you're right. You can do it. X-ray says I jump around on my projects too, but making floss tube has helped you. I make a plan on about four projects was helped me focus a bit more. Exactly. That that is exactly true. Oh no, EJ, you have to frog a hundred beads. Oh, dude. No, I have not finished my new one. I'm just taking a break. Um, oh, man. Oh, man. I gotta do a three, two, three. I don't see it on the floor. Oh, well. We're gonna get going here. Let me find... Let me just switch over to doing something different momentarily. All right, I can make progress with this. I can make progress with this. Ah, and I just dropped the needle that was stuck to my needle. See, didn't I tell you guys I'd find it? 3023, it's right there. I dropped the needle, and where I dropped the needle, it dropped right under 3023. So, told ya. Let me still do a little bit of 646 here, and then we'll jump in. Marina says, Dr. didn't prescribe your steroids and, and you were having a crisis. Just glad to be home. You have seven textbooks to read? Seven textbooks? What the heck? I'm going to put 646. There's 646. So I'll do one thing of this. And we got this here. I'm going to figure out what that one is here in a minute. Got some 646. I did some stitching. I really wish my roller frame frames would come, but I understand. It takes time. Poor guy. I wish the guy had a, somebody who he could, you know, who could help him out with all that. Because the demand is so high. If he could actually get somebody to help him, he could sell a lot more. All right. Scoot in here. Oh, man, it looks so blurry to me. Oh, third year of law. Gotcha, gotcha. Hey, Ellie Belly. Good morning. Good morning. Did I miss anybody else? Nice. Oh, 
right. Oh, there we go. Um, Val says, are you really able to stick to a time limit to stitch? How do you do it? Set a timer or something? Always lose track of time and just keep going. Yeah, that's kind of it. I mean, hey, Marta, how you doing? Um, I don't set timers because I don't listen to myself. I don't, I just kind of, what I'll do is if I, if I just want to stitch for 20 minutes, typically what ends up happening is I'll go slow. And when I run into a roadblock with it, then I just stop. And so then when I pick it up next time, I'm fresh to look at the roadblock and maybe I can get through that or maybe I jump into something else and I just I just kind of chip away at a little bit at a time. It's very it's very slow, but then eventually once you kind of get through that that problem with that that pattern, then that project, then hopefully you just break through it and then you're like, "Okay, now I understand." And there I go. So I had that issue with Old World Map 2 for a while where I was really <clears throat> I was really struggling because I kept making mistakes. And I had to frog like a good I think there was a solid five or six hundred stitches I had to I had to frog on one page because I actually started the wrong page on um, Old World Map 2. And and I put it down for a while after that because I was just ticked at myself. But then I got going again by just doing a little bit at a time. So, yeah, that's it. Sharon's got a good one. Um, if I want to have a time limit on a project, if I'm watching something, I give myself until the end of the episode movie sporting segment. Yeah, that's another good way to do it. Yeah, and sometimes time limits for me, you're right about that, Val, is that it is the end of the thread. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll just, like, especially if I'm stitching on one of my 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 black pieces, my monochromatic pieces, <clears throat> I'll pull out so much thread in the beginning and I'll be like, okay, I'm going to just stitch this much and then move on to something else. Um, and I just, I try not to let myself get frustrated. I'm easily frustrated and uh, I'm, I, I tend to not have patience with myself. I'm getting better at that, but I, I just, I try not to let myself get frustrated. So I try not to push myself to, to, to get things done. Like if I have, if I have a problem in the house, if I have something that's not working, I just kind of like not mess with it until I'm in a mindset to mess with it because I just don't always have the right kind of patience. Kim says, now let's still choose the end of the thread as you sew. Silly cat. Hey, Atenia, how you doing? Oh, Marta. I said Marta already, and then I tell you, hello, Marta. Are you staying safe out there? I hope you're staying safe. A lot of crazy weather in the Gulf and in the Atlantic there. It's crazy. It's crazy. All right, let's get back to stitching here. Hey Arrow, what's up? How you doing? Yeah, Ushioni, yeah, that's what you do too. You set out a certain amount of colors and you just go into you've used all that you set out. I've done that before, especially with old world map too. I would do that. I would say, here's 10 colors, I'll do all these, and then when I'm done with this, I'm done with the project for the day. And away we go. I keep talking about old world map too. Eventually I'm going to get back to it. And I'm going to feel really bad at the end of the year when I do my end of the year summary 
and I and I never finished the row that I said or the yeah the row that I said I was going to finish and I haven't finished the row but things pop up but the good news is is that life is making progress and we're fighting through all the issues that we keep having which is just work stuff we're almost we've almost broken through Sharon says, if I wanted to have goals that aren't time related, I like to use Pattern Keeper and either stitch a certain number of stitches or hit a certain percentage. I love PK. I know. I love PK too. It is amazing. I have, you know what? I have 72% done on this piece, which is amazing and awesome. And I love it. It's the coolest ever. I am, uh, I feel like it has probably the, one of the biggest things that have happened in, in cross stitch, just from a standpoint of it's incredibly helpful. And it, it came along at the right time because it's one of those things where so many people have switched to digital. Uh, what happened? I got a snag. Like, what happened with my snag? Bink. There we go. <laughs> right, EJ, right. Well, I mean, are, are you guys are you guys able to like sit down for long stretches at a time and just stitch? Um, I some days I can do that. Most days I can't. Most days I get kind of itchy to get up and move and and do stuff. Um, I just I, I'm not the best at that kind of thing. Let me see. I like these. There's that. That. Okay. Really want to get back into stitching in the stitchy chair, but Docs just won't let me do that. They just won't let me do it. I've actually resorted to coming upstairs and now I stitch up here almost all the time now, which isn't ideal, but I am I do make progress when I'm up here. I'm gonna just take this half stitch. I obviously made a mistake and put half a stitch of some other color there. You've done nothing but cross it for three days. That is awesome, Nicole. You're still a paper pattern kind of gal. I get you. Hey, Becca. Just door dashed you some donuts since you can't leave until lunch at 9:30. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Door dashing donuts. Um, yeah, what's everybody stitching on today? 
let's do a roll call of stitching stuff. Um, Shoni, you really like the paper pattern. You've never tried Pattern Keeper. You've been thinking about it, though. I mean, I always, I never thought that I would use Pattern Keeper. I, you know, it's, I would say don't knock it till you try it kind of thing. I find that it helps, um, it helps me be more accurate and it helps me find what I need to stitch faster um, because of how it's highlighted. I just think it saves time and I don't have to have all the paper patterns out anymore. So I still have some. I mean, I have some patterns that aren't on Pattern Keeper. Dachshund's not on there. Um, Reaper's not on there. But uh, outside of that, everything else I think is on Pattern Keeper now. So I kind of like it. I like it a lot. Bell says, not stitching, can't get motivated. I need a new tablet to get Pattern Keeper. I get you, dude. I get you. Arrow says, I think your stitchy chair may be in the wrong place. Well, the problem is, is that it's now Topher's chair. And so, and my husband uses it too. My husband uses it in the morning. He comes downstairs early and watches TV and a couple of the dogs usually pile on top of him while he's doing that. So it's really his chair now. And so, um, I, but I'd love to be down in the room and stitching, but it's just, if I'm there, everybody's like, what are you doing? And so half the dogs want to get my lap and, and then they're up and down, up and down. And it's just, it's crazy. Yes. My dogs do run the house. <clears throat> Extra says I normally stitch for a little bit and then I get up and do a few chores. That way you're making progress on all the things. That's that's my days off. That's what I do. I get up and I, I'm going around and doing a lot of different things. <clears throat> Arrow says this week you're working on a Janlin kit called Garden Roses. You got it on clearance when you came back to cross stitch two years ago. It's on 14 count Ada, which is a welcome relief from your fractal piece which was 22 count black Ada. It'll be wonderful. Yes, it will. Oh, that'll be such a difference. Such a difference. Thou still working on French country swans? My throat is just not quite there. Nicole's working on Mysterious Halloween Town by Frosted Pumpkin. Nice. You're almost done with it. Nice. Oh. How do I say your name? Erin. Erin. Stitching shelf, 28 count, one by one. Oh, man. In the midst of pages of green and brown confetti trees and bushes. Oh, boy. Are you using Pattern Keeper for that? Because that would be something that Pattern Keeper would help. It all says we've lost furniture to the dogs as well. Yeah, uh, we've lost all of our furniture to the dogs, except for the computer chairs. Um, the couch is to the dogs. Um... Yeah, it's, it's all the dogs. It's pronounced like Aaron. Dad's a hippie. <laughs> That is cool, Aaron. Okay, that's awesome. That is very cool. It's like a medieval kind of name, you know, like something you'd find in a fantasy novel. So that's pretty cool. Um, working on periodic table again. Cool, X-ray. I like it. How far along are you on that one again? You changed over to Pattern Keeper a month ago, then you started two new hates. <laughs> That's what tends to happen, isn't it? So, yeah, thank you so much for following. Also, if Laura is here, I wanted to thank her for following as well. Uh, thank you guys so much. I hope you enjoy the stream. Hanging out, just chilling, stitching. Um, Ushioni's working on Van Gogh's, or Van Gogh's, depending on where you're from, chair. You're almost finished. Nice. Val says, do your dogs stare at you until you move if you sit in one of their spots? Yeah, well, usually, um, <laughs> hi back. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, well, they stare at you, and then they try to climb on top of me. And so I think it's actually their, um, they kind of like it when I sit where they usually sit, because then they're like, oh, boy, let's all sit together. Um, 
but yeah, it just it just prevents me from getting being able to get things done. But I remember the days. I remember the days on this project especially, um, probably like several pages ago, where I would just sit for ages, like three or four hours at a time, and I would have just a certain few colors and I would sit in that chair and I would stitch and stitch and stitch and stitch and uh, but because this pattern kind of lends itself to stitching on it for long periods of time because there's just not as many colors in most most cases so I could get a lot done but now it's not so not so Get rid of this 646 here. Make sure it says I have all the outline and periodic numbers done. Now you're putting in the weights, name, and symbols. You have one through ten completed. Nice, dude. That's a that's a project, and I mean that's a massive. Are you gonna like hang it on your wall when you're done? You gotta hang it on your wall. You gotta frame it, put it up on your wall. That would be ideal. Um, let's see. All right, so what do I do with that 3023? There it is. There it is. Here we go. One of yours sits on your hip. When you're in a spot on the sofa, it completely messes up my stitching, so I have to stop and pet them. You're well trained. Yep, that's exactly what happens. That's exactly what happens. Well, I just did a bang-up job on tangling this as I'm trying to untangle it, or as I'm trying to pull out the floss. What a magnificent job I did with that. Wow. It's impressive. Impressive. Come on. Where's my needle? Good. It's a gift for your oldest son. Your husband is going to build a frame. Stevie told me he was going to keep it on his wall forever. That's so awesome. Heirloom. That's so awesome. Right here. So very cool. Do, 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 do. You started it at the end of May. Wow, you are making progress on it. I am three hours from no two hours from finishing book two of the first law series on audiobook, and then I will start book three. And then I hope to have that done in the next week. The next Dresden's coming out in like three, four weeks. And that one actually will hopefully be good. That will be fun. But I need to get back to the Iron Druid Chronicles and Last Apprentice. But I'm finishing this first law series by Joe Abercrombie. It's kind of like a dark, they call it grim fantasy. I really like it. It's so good. And I normally am not one of those people that like 
dark stories. And I don't even consider this a dark story. Like, it's not like it's filled with murder and, you know, it's just set in a world of, like, you know, stuff's happening. It's not the best stuff, but I don't know. I just really like it. So I should finish that book today and then move on to the next one. And it'll be nice to finish a series. Sharon says you're getting book mail today. The new J. Scott Savage book, which is the first in a series that deals with Alice in Wonderland. Oh yeah, you've been talking about that. Cool. Very cool. That's fun. Exciting. Getting book mail. Oh, I think I missed half a stitch here. Get in there. I'm going to come all the way down here. I could be more judicious with my stitching, but I'm going to just come all the way down here. And do this. And then this. Yeah, I don't see why I can't finish this page today. If I if I set it in my head, if I set it in my head, you got your air ambulance cross stitch. You'll be doing it to raise money for your air ambulance. Cool, cool, cool. Rishioni says, I recent, recently discovered Abe Books and found used copies of books for like four bucks and free shipping on some. Abe Books? Is that a website? What's up, Shana? How you doing? It, you haven't been around in a while. You finally caught another stream. Yay! Yay! Enjoy. Pull up a chair. Pull out your favorite cross stitch or whatever you're doing. Aaron says, you got the most recent book of CJ's Cherry H's Foreigner series, but it's not an audiobook yet. Grr, so you're holding off until the weekend to read it. I loved listening to the first 19 books while you stitch. Are you kidding me? What's it about? What's it about? Is that something that I could maybe like? 19 books? That's a lot of books. Hey, Angel, what's up? Angel, I got your email. I haven't been able to check yet on that picture that you sent me. Um, I, that's one of the things that's on my list of things to do today is to see if it actually would come out as a good cross stitch. So, yes, I did get your email. Um, and so, and that's very pretty, and I really like it, and, um, and I hope it actually can convert. And so I will let you know. I will, re I'll, I will email you back once I get that, um, once I kind of play around with it a little bit. It is a website and it is awesome. Abe Books. Let me look. Oh, not on this one. Not on that thing. Oh, we're going to stitch on Pattern Keeper on this one until the phone dies. It's about ready to die. And I don't have a charger in here right now. Um, uh oh, hold on. Hold on, I got a I got a work question here. Sorry, work work calls. Um, it doesn't call. It doesn't. It text. Work doesn't text. Or work doesn't call. It work text. What was I going to look up? A books. 
Abe Books. A-B-E. A-B-E Books. Oh, it's got a whole search function. I don't want to search. I just want to look. I'm going to browse. Ooh. Ah! I didn't mean to do that. Ah! Let's go to textbooks. Well, that's cool. That's cool. Textbooks online. Okay, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna bookmark it. I'm gonna bookmark it, and I'll come back to it later. All right. I got three percent charge on my phone, so I gotta. Hey, will I be on for a long tonight? Um, I'm gonna be on for another. Probably like an hour and 15 minutes or so. I usually do about a two hour stream, so about another hour, a little over an hour. Shannon says, doing okay. You're chilling in bed. Got a few minutes to chill and watch until Harlan has another Google class. Ah, gotcha. Aaron says, sci fi. Human stranded on an alien planet. Main character is the one and only human who is allowed to speak and live with the aliens. Oh, okay. Cool. More lockdowns. More lockdowns. Right. Stitching, stitching. Making progress, making progress. Making, 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 making progress, progress. Well, I'm going to have to look into that Foreigners series. That's a lot of books, dude. It's a lot of books. But if it kept your attention through all those books, then high praise. High praise. Kind of like me in Dresden, except for the last book. The last book, ugh. That's Jelly. You can hear Jelly barking down there. Man, I have made a mess of the back of this project. All right. You know, can I? Let me figure out where my headphones are plugged into so that I can unplug that and plug in my charger. Because I really do want to stitch on this particular piece. Alright, let's hope that this, this doesn't change the stream. Uh, it doesn't look like it did. Yay! And we'll plug in the charger. And then we'll get the phone charged. Or get my little my reader charged. It's really my pattern keeper reader now. And hopefully it doesn't knock it out. Boop it up. My jelly belly. Oh yeah. Yeah, Bridge. Hey Bridge, what is up? Yeah, it's uh it wasn't good, man. It wasn't good. Alright, and then it just it took me out of pattern keeper. There it is. Alright. That. I'm going to switch over here. Cool. All right. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. Why is it with that other stuff? There we go. Here's the mess I made. All right. 
Hey, honey. Oh, thank you. Heard? No, I got to plug in. Okay. You're sweet. You're also an eavesdropper. <laughs> I appreciate it though, babe. Honey brought in a uh, husband brought in the uh, charger from the bedroom because he's so sweet. He likes to listen to me when I stream. So he's so sweet. But I plugged it into this other thing. We should be able to maintain maintain signal. Okay, now I can tell. Now, is this the same as this? Did I do so? Yeah, that's the same as that. So let's just pull that out there and let's just use this for now. Keep them? Yeah, I think I'll keep them. I think I'll keep them. Hey, Garth, you slept in, started earlier both. I started a little earlier. I try to, nowadays I'm trying to start like around eight-ish, my time, mountain time. So it's, it's quite possible that I started a little early. I just kind of like ready to roll, I'm ready to stitch. If I'm ready to stitch, let's stitch. We're gonna just roll on here and just, I really should not have let myself get so much confetti or create so much confetti on this particular piece. Um, I might mess that up. I messed that up. Ah, bah, humbug. I do that all the time. I always think that I can put the stitch right back through the same hole, and then I always mess it up, always. That. And I find that I make the same mistake on. Uh, make the same mistakes over and over again. You'd think I'd learn, but nope. Nope, I stubborn. I stubborn and I don't learn. There we go. Pull that through there. Pull that through there. You piece of floss, get out of there. Okay, yeah, did I? Nope. Because I have a snag. And there. And there. Ta da! Surgery.
So in the matter of 10 minutes, you've dropped, lost two needles. Dude, that's story of my life. Story of my life. It's, I, it's just, it's, I need to get one of those big magnets you guys always talk about so that I can actually, uh, here, let me do this proper. Um, I did learn, yay. Um, so I can just go around and just find all the needles I'm, I supposedly have somewhere. Supposedly. There we go. All right. Five years, five years later. There we go. If you're thinking about the Foreigner series, yes, it's amaze balls. The Atevi world country culture is very well done. The author's still ready, and she hasn't killed off any of my fave characters. So win-win. That's nice. That's very cool. Go making progress for go nice. So, you know, I was talking about the when we got that snow last week, how it was like, oh, yeah, it's going to put the fires out. It didn't put the fires out. Thought for sure we put the fires out. It didn't put the fires out. Very disappointing. The one up north, north of uh, the north side of Colorado, is still blazing. I'm like, how did that happen? And we, got, we supposedly got snow. Ooh, ooh, Shana says, Stormsong told you about what DMC cones were. Did you use any for this project? No, I never used any for this project, but I have one on order, and it is coming from 123Stitch, and um, it's uh, it ought to be here anytime. So I'm going to be using that to be working on my black and white uh, projects for... Uh, in case you guys don't watch my videos, let me show you the where we're at with... That looks good on. That's where we're at with uh, the raising the flag. So super happy about it. That's about 28% of the way through, 30% of the way through. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm loving stitching it. It's just, there's something about just using one color to create a photo that I'm just loving. So I'm working on a lot of stuff. Um, working on a lot of stuff to be able to do that way. But yeah, that's coming along. So over here is the last guy that's going to be like the guy who actually like puts the puts the flag in. Um, but anyway, so there's that. Um, if you guys are interested, hold on. Let me for the cones. I wanted to show you the cones. So I think that one two three stitch gets them periodically. Let me pull up my link for that. If you're interested. Um, Whoa, hello, what did I do? Um, did something weird. Let me pull up one, two, threes here. There we go. So if you're interested, it's in stock right now to get black. If you're in the States, 
There it is. That's the floss cone. What online source do I use for fabric? I have a local store, but you have to order online. You can actually order, um, you can call up or email a stitching shop and <clears throat> and actually get them to send it to you. They'll send it to you. Uh, so, um, oh, extra get your 310 cone, noise. Um, hey, Joy, good morning, or good afternoon, I should say. Um, so that's, that's what I use for fabric. I just email them uh, what I need when I need it. And uh, and they send it to me. I haven't had any, haven't needed to get any lately. Um, but I also bought some. Um, I have some 14 count from. I bought it. What do you call it? From like a hot local hobby store. So this is gonna be sort of the source fabric for some other black and white stuff that I use. But um, yeah, I got it from Hobby Lobby. So this is okay. It's pretty good. It's pretty good stuff. I like it, but this is what I'm going to use. This is a 30 inch by 36 inch, so I should be able to get a lot of projects out of that one. Um, and uh, with the cone of floss coming. Yeah, totally. So you can call them or you can email them. I like to email them because she's pretty busy, although she usually, I mean, she, she walks around, she is Christine who owns the shop. She literally walks around with her phone, like on her belt. And so when it goes off, she picks it up and, but if she's busy with somebody, she can't always answer. So, um, uh, I would say, uh, I like to email cause it's just that way I make sure that I don't make any mistakes when I order. And, um, cause I've never had them have a problem with, they've never made a mistake with anything that I have ordered from them. And I've ordered a lot from them. And they can get you anything that you need. All right. That part done. Ah, clear. Clear. All right. Just gonna chip away at the, at these stitches that I know where they are at. You're ashamed to say how often you place orders. One, two, three. Don't even worry about it, dude. Join the club. Join the club. I rotate through a different stores. And so I do everything cross stitch, one, two, three stitch, and I also use some Etsy stores for things. I think it's important to, you know, visit as many different stores as you can, I think. And that reminds me, I still need to get that, separate that list out on my blog of, um, online des like pattern designers and online project stores project stores online supply stores I need to separate out my list there for everybody to be able to tell a little bit better what what's going on 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 Yay, time for the class. Have a good class. You guys have a good one. See you later, Shana. Ooh, I think I'm missing chat. You just scheduled your consultation for your first tattoo. You're so excited. What are you going to get, X-Ray? I've never gotten a tattoo. One, two, three stitch uh, can do custom fabric. Most stores can do custom fabric. So totally. I mean, make sure make sure that they can surge it or that they will surge it. And um, the uh, I mean, this is my horrible surging, but most fabric that I get, I get well, all fabric that I get, I get surged um, so that it's sealed and everything's good. Um, 
assurances I've been ordering from them more lately in town. All you have is Walmart and Hobby Lobby. Walmart has some DMC. Hobby Lobby has most, but neither have a ton of ADA selections, right? Once once Rona hit, I've all but stopped going into stores. Yeah, exactly. One, two, three stitch has been a crafting lifesaver. Noise. Val says you use Etsy stores quite a lot too. Fabric dyers and design websites. Shopping for my hobby has become a new hobby on its own. Exactly. That is uh, that is very true. That is very true. And it's fun. It's so addictive to shop for your hobby. Okay. Sorry, I'm just looking here real quick. There we go. Let's see what I need to do next. You're getting Dobby, 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 Dobby from Goblet of Fire. I'm just going to create as described when he is in his regular clothes. Nice. So cool. Sharon says, one, two, three stitch surges most fabrics. I make sure to ask for it on my Hade fabric pieces. Yeah, make sure they surge it. Or it says, I, I picked up fabric from a local store, got home and realized it was the wrong size. Turns out they had given me the wrong size of the cut they made. It was an easy swap to get the right one. Cool. That's good. Hey, Anstis, what's up? Aaron says, I moved, just moved to a small town without any craft stores, just a single aisle in Walmart. I've ordered so much floss from 123 Stretch with two max color haze. I bet you have. I bet you have. That's so funny. hope to get a lot more stitching done this weekend. I do have it off and there are no plans to go anywhere or do anything that I know of. So we shall see. Pulled it right through the needle. Ah. Ah. 
having issues. Hub, hubby and I are going to head into the mountains this weekend for some sightseeing and apple picking. Nice! Apple picking season. Hey, Rebecca. I am doing well today. I'm stitching on some rainy Waterloo. <sighs> Relaxed and excited that it's a day off. And this that Thursday, for the first time in maybe a month, and then nobody's coming to the house. So, really nice day. Really nice, relaxing day, which I enjoy. So, we're going to get some stitching done. Going to get a lot of progress made on a lot of things. Not just stitching, but a lot of things in general around the house that I needed to get done. going to read some, listen to some books. I almost said read some books. Well, I did say read some books, but I'm not going to read any books. I'm going to listen to books. Must maximize time. All right, 3023, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Nope, that's not right. Where'd you go? You ran off again, did you not? Did I throw you on the floor? Ah, here you are. You just want to hide from me. Just want to hide. Mm. Listen to books is reading with your ears. I gotta tell you too, there is something that is so like, I have discovered how sensitive my ears are as I've gotten older. Like, I don't like it when things are really loud. I don't like it when there's a lot of things going on audio wise. And when I'm listening to a good audiobook with really good, a really good story and a really good narrator, it's like, it's just so pleasing. It's, I can't even tell you, like, it's just, there's a part of my brain that is just so happy um, when I'm listening to a good audiobook now. It's so funny. And I think it's just part of it. I've also trained my ears um, to be, you know, to listen. Okay, I'm back over here. Can I come down here? There we go. Come all the way down here and do this. Quiet morning with a good audiobook and stitching. Yep. Candy for the ears. Yep. Nicole says we'll have an in outdoor in the park Celtic concert to go to Saturday night. Sitting in the back of your Jeep to stay safe. That's cool. That's cool. Stephen Fry reading the entire Sherlock Holmes collection. 60 plus hours of wonderfulness. Oh, I bet. I bet. I need to do that. I like Stephen Fry's voice. Doesn't didn't Stephen Fry do the the UK version of um, uh, Harry Potter? Because we have Jim Dale reading it, and he's good, but some of his voices really kind of set, put me off a little bit. I mean, they're really good voices, but they're just kind of annoying to me, too. And that's obviously personal preference.
Make in progress, make in progress. He did the first one. He did indeed. <clears throat> Holter Graham is one of your absolute favorite audiobook narrators. Holton Graham. Why did I make notes? Holter Graham audiobook. To listen to that voice. Yeah, sometimes do you ever like go and Search for somebody's, uh, like, I like this voice. Let me find what else they've read. <laughs> it's always fun. Um, and it says, there's a funny story about how he couldn't say Harry pocketed it when he was doing the third book and asked J.K. Rowling if she, if he could read it as Harry put it in his pocket and J.K. said no and put the phrase in all the remaining books <laughs> because he'd been patronizing towards her when he recorded the first book. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> Oshioni, didn't think I'd get some great book ideas here. My two favorite hobbies in one spot. We talk a lot about books here. And so people are always throwing out their favorite books. Um, we definitely, we don't do it every uh, time, but we do a lot of it. You enjoy Dim, Jim Dale, E.B. Stevens, and Kirby Hayborn. But my all-time favorite audiobooks are the Redwall books. They are full cast, and all but one or two have the author as the narrator. I think I have those on my to-read list on Goodreads. Um, Lorelai King is one of your favorite female authors or female voices. Finding good female voices is crucial. I've definitely stopped listening. I, I, they've gotten a lot better and maybe it was the book that I was reading and, uh, maybe it was the book I was reading. I can't necessarily say. Um, hey, Born. Okay. You have a list of narrators you can't stand. You have to check the list before you buy. Exactly. I always listen. I mean, if I haven't listened to the, um, if it's a new series or a new book I'm, I'm listening to, I'll usually listen to a sample first. And so Fred Berman might be the other guy that I like that is similar to Holter. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. Very cool, very cool. Very cool, very cool. Okay, let this thing untwirl. Hey, did you just throw food at me? The birds are being really quiet, but I could swear they just threw food at me. Go there. 
Yeah, they're being very messy over there. They got fed this morning. I think now they're just kind of in there, just futzing around and throwing things everywhere. They've been awful quiet this morning. I mean, for them, which is good. They'll probably start screaming in an hour or so. They, they get mad at each other periodically. My brothers are want to do. Wait, where are we? Hold on. Come down here. Bridge says, Lorelai reads Patricia Briggs, Mary Thompson, and Holter reads her other series, Alpha and Omega. Love it so much. Okay, then. Okay. My to-read list on Goodreads is like 300 books right now, which is great. Patricia Briggs. Mary Thompson. Sharon says, I want to go through the Middle Earth books again, but I couldn't listen to any of them. The narrator just grated on your nerves. Oh, or any circus doing a new recording of The Hobbit. That would be pretty good. Haha! <laughs> Arrow says, my, vo my voice is listenable. I don't listen to FlossTube ladies whose voice is great on you. I could fall asleep to yours. If ever since I started FlossTube videos, people have always said that they could fall asleep to my voice. I think that that is actually a compliment. I really do. So, I no, no worries. Anstis says, been reading, listening to The Vampire Knitting Club. Brilliant, trashy fun. Isn't that... That's... And we all need our brilliant, trashy fun. Val's trying to decide between a full series of... Full series binge of Terry Pratchett's Discworld or Jody Taylor's The Chronicles of St. Mary's. I'm pretty sure The Chronicles of St. Mary's is on my list. Val says, I did an epic binge of books on Watergate once and ended up with Richard Nixon nightmares. <laughs> so I guess some topics as binges should be avoided. Oh, Mercy Thompson is her name. Any Nixon dream is a nightmare. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Yeah, it's funny how sometimes some of the weirdest ones. Aw, thanks, Belle. I appreciate that. We have a little we have a little stitchy club. We could build a little stitchy room between the houses and, and go in and stitch whenever the mood strikes us. Stitchy room. I would have a key to your stash. Ooh. A key to the stash. Noise. Noise, noise, noise. Key to the stash. Okay. 
Okay, let me highlight where I'm at here. Okay, now the question is, did I already stitch? I don't think I did. Sometimes I need to re-highlight or re-grid just so that I can see in my own mind. Approximately where things are at. So this one, this one, this one, Oh, well, thanks, Rebecca. You know, Rebecca, I'm actually trying to take most of my ads off my videos now. And so I need to go back through the Stitch With Me's and just take all the ads off so you guys can do that. Um, so that's kind of my, my thing. It, YouTube went through this thing in the last month or two where they just like, they're like, it's ridiculous, basically. It's it's really ridiculous, like how many ads they want to put on your videos. You have to manually go in and actually remove them, and they want to put them on like literally every three minutes. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but yeah, I need to take some of those. I need to take the ads off the the stitch with me's, and just have them be one long video so people can just listen and just you know, chill. Oh, Sharon says, uh, whenever I see one of you guys either here or on the Discord saying you have a lot of floss to bobinate, I just wish I could go over and bobinate them all for you and help you guys out. Oh, that's so sweet. I, I've got stuff to bobinate. But, <laughs> oh, you know, Rebecca, it's totally okay. It's, it's, I am monetized. It's just, I don't, you know, it's, it doesn't, it's not that big of a deal. And so, um, it's, uh. For the old ones, it's, uh, yeah, it's not that big of a deal. And so um, I think uh, um, I'd rather have people be able to watch the videos, especially those Stitch With Me's, with a pretty long stretch. But the other thing is that's bad about um, YouTube is how it does not have a consistent, well, I should say this, ads want to be seen, so they're going to like blare them at you. So, but it's really not that big of a deal. It's not. I actually, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to build out the Etsy store so I don't have to uh, monetize the videos at all on YouTube. Um, because I'm just, all I'm trying to do is just, well, not all I'm trying to do. Because fundamentally, I'd like to be able to make this a business in a way, but I think the best way to go about it is going to be the blog and the, in the store. Um, and so, um, the store I want to build out more and not just have cross stitching patterns, but have other things that people might like. Um, but, uh, I'd love to get to a point where I can actually, <laughs> I hope there's nobody here that actually is a client of mine because <laughs> I'd actually like to really cut back on my day job. And so, um, it's very stressful and, uh, there are so many other things that I want to do now. And so, huh. yeah, if the ads weren't so loud, it wouldn't be so bad. Yeah, it's that's a YouTube thing. That's a YouTube setting. And I don't know how to, I, I have no control over that. I also have limited to no control about what ads they show. Um, I used to be able to, and I might have some ability to have some ads on it, but um for the most part, I think YouTube is trying to police itself, so I shouldn't have to worry about what kind of ads are popping up on my videos. 
and my mom will tell me if there's something that's popped up and she's like you know there was an ad that did said this and I'm like mom I have no control over who YouTube puts on my videos <laughs> and uh, my mom is so sweet I don't know if she watches these videos or not I think she maybe she listens to them sometime because she just likes to hear me um, haven't yeah, I'm not sure when I'm going to get to see her again. I try not to think about that too much, but I know it'll happen at some point. I should have just, if I'd known, if, well, if I'd known, if I'd been as proactive about it, I would have just had her just, I would have just gone and gotten her at the beginning of the, the whole epidemic thing, pandemic thing, and just grabbed her and just been like, yep, you're going to come live with us. But I don't think she really wants to live with the five dogs and the cat and all that stuff. If we had moved, it would have been a different story, but we did not move, so that will come later. Where am I? Here? There and there. Yeah, ads are like that on TV too, way too loud. I don't understand it either. That just makes no sense that they can't have a, a lower sound so that they're not quite as jarring. Aaron says, I used to be in a great stitching group in California, then I moved to Mississippi. Is it Mississippi? And I can't meet anybody new in the pandemic. This is such a wonderful way to get your social stitchy fix. Noise. Sharon says, I'm a pro at telling YouTube that I don't like the ads that often pop up. I mark many as irrelevant or inappropriate, and some may have sent at least one lengthy email when someone was highly inappropriate and wasn't set up to flag it. Oh, good night, Angel. Have a good night. We'll see you later. You haven't seen your mom since Christmas, Val? Yeah, that's rough. They want to make sure that people have no choice but to pay attention? Yeah, totally. I mean... Yeah, I get ya. I mean, I get ya. I understand that. It's just, it is annoying. I actually uh, have YouTube Red or Premium or whatever it is um, because I watch, I literally watch like hours a day or listen to hours a day of YouTube videos. So I pay for it. It's like, is it like eight bucks a month or something? And, um, that way I don't hear any ads, and that's really nice. With as much as I watch, that's really nice. I felt like it was totally worth it. And my husband and I share it. Um, we share the... Uh, we share the membership, so he gets to watch. He just actually watched this whole... Actually, some of you guys from the UK may, um, or out in Europe... Um, you're a pro at muting things. Nice. Um, he was watching this um, BBC show about um, life in like the early 1900s. And I just had people who were dressed sort of period dr dressing and they were showing like how they made food or how they sowed crops or how they raised animals and moved sheep and different things. And it was like this, I don't know, it was like 10 episodes that were like an hour long each. And um and so, uh, you mute the button for ads too. Gotcha. Um, yeah, he watched like 10 hours of it over the weekend. He just binge watched the whole thing. He really liked it. It's not my thing, but he really loved it. Loved it, liked it, love it. Let's see here. Let's get some 3022. Where'd that go? There it is. <laughs> let's see here. All right, let's 
skip over to this one. I'm going to come down here and stitch this. Nice. Yeah, I'm going to get this page done today. Just got to get it done, you know. Just got to get it done. Making a lot of progress. Oh, wow, there's a bunch of series like that. Edwardian Farm, Victorian Farm, Tudor Monastery Farm. It might be the Edwardian Farm. I'll have to tell him that. He might uh, <clears throat> he might not know about the other ones. All the farm ones many times. Watch them on YouTube. Nice. Um this my did I tell you guys that the the honey the honeybees the bees just didn't give us any honey this year? They uh they decided to have a private honey party and didn't invite us because it was so dry and there were no flowers. Yeah, six hives. They produced probably about a total of two frames of honey between all the different <clears throat> hives we had out. <clears throat> And uh, yeah, just it didn't didn't happen this year. It's okay though. It's no big deal. But it's disappointing. But it is what it is. Hopefully next year we'll get a lot more rain, and it'll be a different story. But we were, we had definitely some serious drought conditions this summer, spring and summer, really. This one. Marina, I haven't really looked at them yet. I, I would say that the most important thing with floss tube is consistency. And they need to be able to hear you well. So if you if you release a video at a certain time, uh, a certain day of the week, so people can expect it, that's good. And they got to be able to to see what you're talking about and to hear you clearly. And so, and then people will come. But I don't actually watch a lot of floss tube. A lot. The reason why is because I don't want to copy what others are doing. And I just don't have the time. I, when I listen to videos, I'm usually listening to like <sighs> things about books, things about other topics that I can... Uh, um, Yeah, you can. I show. I show whips. Talk about what's going on. Um, you can cross stitch for them. You can put anything on there. If you look at other people's floss tubes, it really is a good. Uh, it's a good marker for what. Especially if you find somebody who's like. If you look at the ones that have the most viewers, like. Um, oh gosh. Oh, now I'm not going to be with the Real Housewives of Cross Stitch. Um, oh, um, okay, wait, I'm going to say something and then I'm going to backtrack. Um, the, um, who else is really popular? Um, 
Oh, I can see their faces. Um, Just Keep Stitching is a really good one. Um, there's a ton of that are out there. Um, I don't know anything about uh, the new J.K. Rowling book. Um, the um, Oh, Stitch Bliss, guys. Do you guys ever watch Stitch Bliss? Stitch Bliss is shutting down her YouTube channel. She's been doing floss tube for forever. And, uh, well, not forever, but she was one of the first ones that I actually did watch back when I was trying to figure out how to do floss tube. And, uh, she is putting down her floss tuber stuff. She has a lot of really good stuff out there. Um, but she's putting it down because she wants to help her husband with something that he's working on. So good for her. And, uh, she'll definitely be missed, but there's a lot of good content out there for her. So a lot of good content. Oh yeah, a couple floss tubers you've watched regularly that haven't been on for months. You'd like to know that they're okay. Yeah, that's that's tough. Wait, is that right? Yeah, that's right. It's hard to know if they just stopped doing it because life took them um, took them in another direction, or if they're sick in some way. Yeah. All right. I'm going to figure out here. Hmm. All right, I got a lot of this one I can do. You betcha. You betcha. X-Ray says, I'm having a ton of fun making mine. I do not worry too much about how many views I get. I just enjoy the process. Yeah, totally. It's, um, I can go back now and look at my older uh, cross stitch videos and be like, wow, I can't believe that I've made that much progress on mine. And, um, honestly, most of the time I'm doing it for my family. I'm doing it for my mom and my in-laws. Um, cause they like to see what we're doing, talk about what's going on in our lives. Um, and it's just a great way to kind of keep in touch. Um, so they really enjoy it, especially my father-in-law really loves it. Um, he watches the weekly updates multiple times and talks about, you know, just is always talking about what we're doing. And so I, it's, you know, got to keep doing it. In fact, it's like if I, if I upload one but forget to get it ready to post, I have the times leaped out of bed at like 11 o'clock at night going, I didn't get it ready, you know. And because um, if it doesn't come out when it's supposed to, if it's not out when he goes to look for it, um, then they're like, they worry. So we don't want them worrying. Yeah, Rebecca. Yeah, I think um, either go back and watch a lot of her. She's really pleasing to listen to. She does a lot of historical talks and things like that that are really a lot of fun. So there's a lot to watch. You could put her on a playlist and just watch or listen to a lot of her videos. Um. She actually, way back in the beginning, like three years ago, shouted me out. Um, and I think that helped me really kind of get, get going in the beginning. And uh, so she was, she was, you know, she was good, very good to me. Um, Arrow says, mom is 90 years old, basically a hermit, only leaves the house <clears throat> to go to the doctor, never uses the phone. We, her 10 children, asked her how she wanted us to interact with her with the possibility that we could unknowingly infect her. Her response is that she wanted us to continue to visit and spend time with her, and she would pay for our travel expenses as well. So perhaps you could have that frank conversation with your mom and go give her a hug. My mom is my mom is doing okay, and 
my mom is very, it's not so much um, me infecting her, but it's me getting infected myself and then coming back and um, having to um, not work for two weeks. Because I pretty much have told folks that, you know, at work that if they go out of state and they go someplace and they visit family and I, they need to quarantine themselves for two weeks when they get back because it's just, we haven't had a lot of cases here. Um, it's just, um, uh, yet, but it is coming Oh, No worries, Joy. No worries. Um, there was a local restaurant that's kind of like a, a, a bar, a party place that a lot of people go to, and they have had three cases in their staff in the last week and a half. And, um, so there was a waitress and then there were two cooks and a lot of people go there and a lot of people aren't observing mask regulations and things like that from what I understand and it's a very busy place and it is right here in town and so the question is is we haven't really because we've our county of 350,000 people have only had on average maybe 20 cases a day maybe 20 cases a day since this whole thing started and uh, at some point that's going to change and I don't want to be the one who brings back a particularly aggressive strain and then have to close my business for, for a while because all my employees are sick. So, um, I can't, I just can't do it. And so, um, uh, I just can't do it. So, so we've had to like, you know, it's like, you can make a choice. You can go and do the thing you want to do, but then you have to quarantine yourself when you come back. You just have to. And, um, so we're just, we're just playing it by ear. We're trying to be safe. We're not perfect. I mean, it's, we haven't had to be perfect because we haven't had a lot of cases, but we're just trying to be really, really careful. And I certainly can't tell my group to do one thing and then do something different. That would be so wrong in so many ways. I would like to, I would like to go see my mom very much, but for now, we're just going to chill. We talk all the time, so that's the good thing. She's a talker, that one. She's a talker. And I say it with an accent. She's got a slightly southern accent. That's about it. But we'll get there. Do I get to video chat with my mom? I have a few times. My mom's not a big fan of it. She likes to look at me sometimes, but it's just kind of... Um, she likes to look at me sometimes. That sounds bad. Um, she likes to talk on the phone. And so we video chatted a couple times um, just to see each other. And um, But we we talk on the phone uh, a couple times a week. And we text almost every day. So we're keeping, we're keeping um, up to date with each other. She's a busy woman. She's she's finally now getting out a little bit more and doing things. She's very active. I mean, this woman is like always on the go. So she had to, she really closed herself down for quite a while. And now she's kind of getting back out there and doing some things, but she's just being really careful. Yeah, Errol, er, er, you think you I'm you think I might have already had COVID COVID. Yeah, I think I already did, but the thing is is that they show that you can actually get it more than once. Ever thought about getting an antibody test? I totally did think about it, but they also say that right now they're finding that a lot of people their antibodies aren't lasting more than a few months. So the question is is will it return? Will the antibody levels come back? Um Somebody's trying to call me. Um, so um, uh, can you get it again? I think you can. Um, will a vaccine be effective? No. I don't think it'll be very effective um, in the first, in this next six months. Um, we'd have to have a major breakthrough in, um, in vaccine technology in order for it to get really good. So um, I, I just... I'm just, no. And so, um, but anyway, so, um, 
Yeah, but did I have it? I I think I think I did. I had such a high fever. It was January, late January, and I had a high fever for like four or five days. But see, then nobody else got sick at that time at work. So I I, I don't know what happened. And so that was just so weird. Garth says, 90-year-old grandparents taken seriously, only in the house for the old folks' time at the grocery store at 8 a.m. on Tuesdays. They encouraged everyone in the family to call them for no reason. Nice. Ushioni says, my cat jumps in my my cat jumps in my chair about 15 minutes ago. Now she has somehow taken 90% of the chair, and I am on one corner. She's still giving me hard looks like I'm invading her space. That's what cats do. Yeah, she's like, that's my seat. Now you must move. I don't really buy that. I just kind of like... I'm like, go, go find another place. Val says, that one bothers me. Wait, what, what one bothers you? Oh, Val, wait, let me go back up. If anything illustrates the danger, it's that wedding in Maine that ignored the social distancing mask regulations. There are now over 150 cases and seven deaths linked to it, not just with attendees, but with people who work or came in contact with attendees. Yeah. Totally. And one of my employees wanted, wanted to go to a wedding in Texas. She's like, I want to drive there, you know, this and that. And I'm like, Texas has a ton of cases. I'm like, and if you bring it back and infect, you know, this and this and this and this and this, I mean, let's just, I mean, yeah, it's hard, but sacrifices need to be made this year, this year and part of next year, at least. So... Val says, your son and his fiancée were supposed to be getting married this coming Sunday. They decided to postpone next June to keep the rest of us safe. Yeah, you know, the other thing, too, is that I wouldn't say postpone getting married. Get married and then have a wedding later. You know, have a party or a wedding later. I don't I don't understand the whole postponing getting married thing because, I mean, I did elope with hubby. Um, we weren't, you know, we, we wanted to be able to celebrate the day, but I, I feel like you you know, the celebration is every day afterwards, you know, the being together, the forming, you know, extending the family. Um, so people who are delaying their weddings and stuff, I'm like, don't delay your, just go ahead and get married so that you can be married and work on being married. It's different. It's different when you're married versus still dating or living with each other or whatnot, I think. But yeah, yeah, you don't need to be having get togethers. Just don't. Discipline. Let's have some discipline, folks. This is. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, by the way, if you guys haven't, if you didn't see my video, I got a new pattern out. Now that I'm thinking about it, I like this one. What do you guys think about this one? Penguin party. So again, it's a black thread on white fabric, and um, it's uh, it's not a very large 290 by 210, um, and so you're but you're just stitching the you're just stitching the black part. You're not stitching anything else. So I do want to do this at some point, um, but it's uh, it's I mean that's the majority of the stitching is right through there. But anyway, penguin party. That one came out really nice. Um, <sighs> Sharon says, Mom isn't allowed to go out at all. Yeah, I figured she wouldn't. Wow. Has to wear a hazmat. Med tech has to. Wow. Come in for maintenance things. They have to remain masked at all times. Yeah, a lot of people have used that as an excuse to not do things like text, email, call. Yeah. Yeah, reaching out to those that are homebound, not just the elderly. PSA over now. Yeah, Penguin Party, uh, I just got that done. I just put that up on the store last night. Um, but that one came out really well. I uh, I like that one a lot. So it's it's like it's like 17,000 stitches. I forgot how many stitches. I mean, it's it's a big enough project that it'll take you a little bit, but it's not so big that it'll take forever. And um, so, yeah, that came out really nice. I was pretty happy about that. Pretty happy. Hmm. 
me go over here and do this. Your son's three obsessions were leopards, piggies, and penguins. Well, that's an eclectic group of animals there. I definitely want to get some more animals on the store and then, um, yeah. I'm looking at bears right now. Different things, different things. Oh yeah, so I was thinking about getting a flu shot. I never have gotten a flu shot, but I think I need to get a flu shot this year. I think it would be the smart thing to do considering how easy I've been getting sick. Sorry, I'm just highlighting here. Yeah, I did see the video of the bear waking a man up while he was sleeping by his pool. That was pretty funny. That was pretty funny. Oh, he was obsessed with the Titanic, the Britannic, and all the other famous shipwrecks. You don't know why. Something in his head. What does he do now? What is he interested in now? One of my cousin's kids uh, was obsessed with the Titanic for a while. Please get a flu shot this year, right? Yeah. Yeah, especially with the fact that I'm still seeing a lot of people. I still wear a mask. And I wear a mask probably, I don't wear it 100% all day long, but I always wear it when people are in the building. But and you get used to it. You totally just get used to it. Bink. <laughs> they all go through a Titanic stage. Robert Ballard is still one of his heroes. Is the Ballard the guy that found the Titanic? I can't remember. He's a weird kid. That's awesome. <laughs> I think he's a cool kid. He goes his own, he marches to the beat of his own drum. Your cousin's little boy is seven, and his current obsessions are Mario and marine animals, specifically sharks, but really any animals that live in water, he's there for. Nice. Sharon said, I love when Bob Ballard did segments during the closing credits of season one of Sequest. I remember that way back when he did that. They were really into that at one point.
he's 11 and he talks about flags and different political ideologies like what is anarchies, communism and stuff like that. I don't get half of what he's talking about. That's awesome. Boy, he's got an analytical head. That's awesome. We always treated the obsession of the moment as learning opportunities. Nice. My son became obsessed with the pyramids. We bought him a book on hieroglyphics. It really broadens the world beyond what they learn in school. Absolutely. So let him run with it. You never know what it's going to, you know, provoke in him later in life. Provoking him? It sounds, <clears throat> it sounds a little scary. It's going to provoke. highlighting here because it's I'm in a difficult little spot. Gotta make sure that I get it done right. He's constantly showing you flags that political groups use. Huh. Interesting. He's a little weird, but in a good way. Weird is weird is interesting. I would say he's interesting. Interesting is good. <laughs> you told your son you love how he stands out. That's awesome. Unique and interesting and not a follower. That is very true. Sheldon Cooper? Yeah, right? He has all the age-appropriate books on sharks and marine life that we can find. His favorite quiet activity is to quiz the adults on marine life. You should totally get him, like, the next level of age-appropriate books, like, Push him a little bit, and so and see what see if he if he digs into it or if he's moves on to something different. That's awesome. Bow tie for eighth grade photo. Orange hair. Think Muppet in college. <laughs> there you go. Why not? Why not? That's awesome. Yeah, interesting is the. Uh, is is good, is good. Ah, oh, let me think, guys. How many stitches did I get done? 186 so far. That's pretty good. I think that is going to be it for the stitch with me. Is two hours, just over two hours, like typical, like typical, like usual. And uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish this up for sure, because I mean. 
maybe 300 more stitches. I don't know, maybe four. I really should focus on this and get this done though, today. So, your oldest is a redhead. He loves math and Rubik's Cubes. Nice. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah, I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I'll see you on Sunday. And uh, we will uh, convene at that point and probably be working. Ah, raising the flag decided to jump out at me. Probably be working on raising the flag at that time. Um, hopefully I can get another couple thousand stitches done on that one before we uh, we get to anything else. So, But this first... And then that sounds like a plan. Thanks, guys. Appreciate so much you hanging out with us. And um, I'm going to call it a, a stream here. Um, oh, no, you're going to be without internet for hours this afternoon. Oh, man, that's uh, download some videos or something, dude. Get yourself prepared. That would be hard. That would be so hard. Well, I'd have the audio book, so I'd do that. So, But... Um, We'll see you guys later. Have a good week. And uh, I'll see you guys really soon. Stitchy time. Yep, it is stitchy time for you. You got all kinds of time to stitch then. Forced stitching time. You're welcome. You're welcome. All right, guys. I'll see y'all later, okay? Wait, I got to remember how to do this. There we go. Bye, guys.